prisoners of war of the Reich. Let's hear about the liberation. By the way, these films and photos you can see are faked. The background, the backdrop there is sort of added in. <clears throat> uh, trick photography. Now we knew that the Third Army was not too far away because uh, we had already been evacuated out of Nuremberg, which is north and west of us. So, so we knew that the Germans were pretty close and we could hear the firing and, and it was over real quick. And we finally ended up at Mooseburg and uh, we were there about two, three days and then the General Patton caught up with us and we were liberated the 29th of April 1945. And Patton was right there when, when they, they got our camp. Pearl handle pistol and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> They're props. They're movie props. Patton with his pearl handled pistols. MacArthur with his big corn cob pipe. Churchill with his hat and his cane. They're movie props. Patton's troops came in, the tanks and all. We heard those rumbling up a couple of days before they came. And the guards there are all vacated. They left it and left the gates open and all. So we just hung in where we were. But there was some SS. So those photos there, did they really look like they were people who had been under starvation and uh, terrible situations? Right there. They look pretty healthy to me. And it looks like they're making a movie. They all want to perform for the camera. There were no down flyers in World War II. Nonsense. POW hoaxing. You see, if you don't have flyers being shot down, you don't have POWs. So there were no flyers shot down over Germany. because there was no bombing except in the media and in the newspapers and magazines and in controlled demolition. Well, anyhow, let's get back. You can see I like to rant and rave a little bit. And the guards there are all vacated. They left, it, they left the gates open and all. So we just hung in where we were. But there was SS fanatics out on the road that I can remember. They had a machine gun and they were shooting at these tanks coming down the road. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? That's what he wants you to do. Use your imagination. Did you see the snicker? Smile. <laughs> Does this really look like people that have been starved to death? Or does it look like people that are just making a movie? And uh, uh, then the tanks came in and uh, uh, it was real, real thrill to get liberated. Well, there was a jeep drove into camp one day and uh, I think it was a lieutenant. He stood up and guys started flocking around and, and he said... Uh, okay, I want you to pay attention to this sign on the gate. Oh, and it looks like if you look to the left of the sign on the gate, it looks like that person has an eye. I'm not sure if that's one-eyed symbolism or not, but anyhow, look at the sign on the gate. They're jokers. 
They're joking with you. Back in the army again. Uh, there it is. Yep, yep. He does have a one-eyed patch. I did spot it. Look to the left of the sign. One-eyed symbolism. They're telling you. They're fooling with your mind. There were no prisoners of war in Europe because there were no planes shot down and pilots bailing out with parachutes. It was all nonsense. But this guy, the one making this film, the one making this video, believed it for most of his life. Now I'm on a campaign to try to help just a few people to stop believing the lies of the war hoaxers. Act like soldiers, <laughs> that's all he said. He said we couldn't feed you, he said there are supplies or Look at the guy holding up the crutch. It's a prop. They're all props. Look at there's several of them with crutches. Do they really look like they're injured and hurting? And by the way, where would they get their crutches? From the hospital? In the POW camp? I'm sure the Germans was more than happy to administer crutches to the prisoners of war. And while they were at it, they probably assigned him a personal nurse, right? <laughs> there were no prisoners of war in Germany because there were no flyers shot down like they lead you to believe. 20 miles behind us, it was um, Patton's third army, I guess, and, and there was some tanks somewhere back there. Oh, we were literally liberated by two drunken Russian, uh... <laughs> two drunken Russians. <laughs> they had some vodka! Why didn't they share their vodka? Uh, camp followers, really, they're Mongolians. Our camp was bypassed by, we were up uh, on the Baltic and our camp was bypassed by the Russian troops and we were left in a pocket up there by ourselves and the Germans more crutches more one-eyed symbolism look to the far right and look at those stupid signs do you really believe this? well the way you can get rid of believing all this stuff is watch Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> Hogan's Heroes is more realistic than this stuff. Off uh, left us there, and uh, these two Russians came in the middle of the night, and they. Okay, now this this one I am not entirely sure. But I think it might be Archie Bunker. I'm not entirely sure. It's my guess. It's Archie Bunker. What do you do with these actors that have been very prominent for most of their life? And all of a sudden their body is aging. And they're old people. What do you do with them? Well, you pay him a couple of bucks to do a documentary and take on the role. Look at how he smiles. He smiles because he knows it's all a performance, just like all in the family. They were, uh, they wore fez hats and had air-cooled submachine guns slung across them and, and uh, they came to liberate us. And of course, right away, the the rest of the horde came and we were under uh, the Mongols for... Notice how he talked about his liberators, the horde. Look at these people. 
They're getting out of prison camp with a suitcase. Look at the dude in the front. He's got a suitcase. Did he have that when he bailed out of his plane? His parachute? With a suitcase. Come on. Uh, a couple of weeks before the crack troops came back and restored order. The first sentence. Did you notice how he giggled and laughed? Well, anyhow, I'm going to stop this portion of the liberation of the POWs and stay tuned. I'm having such a blast. I'm going to, going to bring you more and more until, I, until I'm done with this. Thank you for watching. End of video.